Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Tanya. We are at another vintage antique flea market today. There is so much fun stuff here to look at. I know I haven't come across as much glass lately, but there is glass here today and we will definitely be looking at that. Luckily, there were a lot of price tag stickers here today, so I will also be showing you as many of those as I possibly can. Vintage antique markets are a great place to find deals. In a minute here, we're going to see a Monticello blue glass basket. They were asking $12 and it averages about $20 online right now. So that's a pretty good price for all my Fenton fans. There's a foot of bullets, the butterfly berry pattern. This is actually really pricey online right now. And I think they wanted, I can't remember if it was 20 or 30 for that bowl. This is original signed art from an artist named Burnell from the late 50s, early 60s. It is so cute. It's all watercolor. She was asking $20 a piece. I just love the way the colors pop in this painting. This is the kind of art that's in demand right now. It's fantastic. Not a lot of jewelry here, but we will take a peek as we come across it. This table was so cute. I just love it when vendors merchandise. This is just adorable. We're videoing? Yeah. Look how she even set up part of her table for fall. Just so cute. Absolutely beautiful soapstone swan. She actually had several soapstone pieces, but some of them sold right as I walked up to her table, so I didn't get them on camera. <laughs> Ellie Smith Moon and Stars Bowl, $8 she was asking, around $25 online. That was a deal, so I picked that up. And this Willow China pattern, usually around $10, so $2 was a great deal. If you want to see what I bought, stick around to the end and I'll show you everything I brought home. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, you got it. Thank you. Buy something. I know. I was like, I'm like which, where do you want everything? to start? I know. We've got a fall section, a shabby yes, chic section. Great. I was so excited when I saw this fondue pot. I love fondue and I just never get around to doing it, but it is so much fun. Vintage antique flea markets really are my favorite place to thrift for treasures. I go every month, so I've got tons of these kinds of videos for you to binge watch on my channel. So hit subscribe if you're new here or if you haven't yet. We'd love to have you join our happy little growing YouTube family. And then do you go to Shingle Springs, that one? Or Diamond Springs, whatever that is. No, I don't even know about that one. What, what is, is that, that one? So what is that one? Is it about this size or is it bigger? Or? Yeah, it's about this size. It's a lot of people that like do, um, you know, they buy those storage units. Yeah. Not me. This is all hand-picked. Isn't that lamp cool? Uh, I think it's $385. It's $385 mm -hmm. online? Yeah. And how much are you selling it for? I think I'm going to sell it for 40 40 Yeah. Wow. It's so pretty. Look at the how to spot. Oh, is oh that wow, fun? that is cute. <laughs> that is really cute. It's not cute. I love it. <laughs> well, you're thinking about it could be gone. Hmm. Cigarette 
Ten bucks. That's a really nice. So those are commercial grade bottles for making wine or brewing beer. Very cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I use, I use, yeah, I use these kind of baskets. Um, it's 40, I'll give it to you for 35. I'm looking, this, this one has stuff in it. Yes, that one, that is the, that has the vintage stuff in it, and it's still good. I'm going to have to follow you. Here a little bit, a bit better. So you can see him. No, 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 no. This one. Very cool. I guess with this one. You look like slippers. <laughs> Situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heck, we had our first one. We were done by February 20th. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Aren't those well, did cool? You see, They're what, so did you cool. See I know. I've never seen anything like them. Sweet little poisoné bowl right here. If anyone's into poisoné, can you please let me know in the comments? I would love to know if we have fans out there. And I just thought this little alabaster trinket box from Italy was so sweet too. But I love anything from Italy. Anything. I'm a huge fan. Taking a picture of Chip and Tyler. Yeah, it's probably a nice little base. It's a little yellow and green one. That's from 1885. That... It's from the, the late 50s, early 60s. It's beautiful. And it's, it's Bohemian glass. Here, I'll move things. Okay. You can take a better picture. Hmm. And then this one's an ale. I'm asking 10 on the ale. And too bad you weren't here when I had the big pub job. They're from 1833 to 1860. They're ginger beers. This one's an ale. He's got the stout bottles. The stout bottles are down in the South Bay now. And they came off uh, uh, one of the ships and they're really hard to get. So. And he has them over there now? What's that? He has them over there now? No, he took them uh, about two years ago off me. Uh, <laughs> because they're really hard to get. They're, uh -huh. They go in the saddlebags of the horse. Oh, wow. So, I've collected a few things. Here's an oil jug. This is from 1855. Battery, uh, salt glazed. Charge, really like nice. Cars. It was almost $2 back in 1865. Wow. Stations. And, uh, there we go. I grew up in Brentwood. Are you, are you putting that on as a show? <laughs>
read that, honey? Yes, I did. <laughs> Propaganda. Yeah, sure. <laughs> right. God, right. didn't know that. I want that though. What is this for? What's that? What is it? Uh, this one? It was made. It was made. <laughs> More signed art. I just fell in love with this frame. Signed Eagle Oil paintings. Gorgeous. We're actually stepping inside now. There's an inside and an outside here. And I wanted to get inside before everything was gone because it seemed like people were really piling in there. There's plenty more to see outside though, so we will head back out after this. Imperial Carnival glass. This is the pansy pattern pickle dish. I know we've got fans out there. The iridescents are always so striking. Well, so far the prices seem a little bit higher in here, at least at this first table. We'll see as we go. Here's another reason to always turn over before you buy. I'm always looking for price tags on the bottom, but you always want to look for cracks or chips or anything that would make you not want to buy. I did not realize what this was at first. I thought it was a powder box, so I tried to take the lid off, but it's a music box. Little condiment set here. I have the white but I've been eyeballing this blue. It is, I must say though, much, much cheaper online than it is here today. This would certainly not be a good deal. However, you always have to weigh in shipping. I just love mix and match flow blue. I think it is so gorgeous on a table. Such a great setting idea. Wall pocket vases really need to make a comeback. How pretty are flowers on the wall? I'm in that place uh, just um, releasing a lot of things. Yeah. And a lot of people here, I'm talking with people here, they, a lot of people are doing that now. Just clearing stuff out. Clearing huh? stuff out, yeah. And it was $3, you said? $3, yeah. Yeah, I gotta 
good deal on it. It's very pretty. Yeah, those are beautiful. $40, that's a good price. So you decided just to do the whole set for 40? Yes. Wow. We're ready to head back outside and see what we missed. Or two bucks on up. But I don't know his name. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, so spittoons. Now, hear me out. I think it is time that we just start repurposing these to hold flowers and plants. It's time to just let go of the stigma. They are so gorgeous for arrangements. Have I mentioned where I'm at yet? I think I completely forgot. I am in Auburn at their 49er Antique and Vintage Flea Market. It goes on every month, uh, the first Saturday. And I don't get out here all that often, 
but I do love to come here because the prices are a lot of times much lower than they are at the vintage antique flea markets in town. I always leave here with something I just adore and I'm never disappointed. I don't know those names. Griswold and Wagner's are two number one. Okay. Of course, Lodge was pre-1900 also, but I, I just buy Lodge to retail. Uh-huh. Or people sell it to me. Uh -huh. And do Mad Bomber hats. Real fur. The real price is $25. But, uh, so, uh, Griswold and Wagner. Lodge. There's some old Lodge. Your old Lodge was smooth like glass. to give me to take them away. <laughs> yeah. What a deal. Yeah, please. I'm sorry I didn't clean it we up for you. We have a them. We have about 50 of them. 50? Yeah. My goodness, that is a collection if ever I've heard. Thank you, dear. Very pretty. Put it to good use, huh? Do you have a bag? I do, yeah, absolutely. Well, that was super fun. I had a great time. I hope that you did too. I really liked that one because it's smaller. So instead of like running the whole time and trying to film and pick things out, I really got to stop and talk to some of the vendors and I just love having the opportunity to do that. So I'm going to show you what I ended up getting. It's not a huge haul, but I love everything that I got. I ended up getting this bowl for $8. A little footed bowl. It's, it was a good price. It was really great. I'm really happy with it. I also ended up getting these candlesticks. I have a ton of candlesticks, but they're all brass. I didn't really have any gold ones. So I'm just really happy with these. I love the detail on them. I think they're so cute. I also ended up getting this bowl for $3, another pedestal bowl, because why wouldn't I? $3. So pretty. So pretty. That's metal. Sorry. I also ended up grabbing these because I thought they would look super cute in my kitchen. And I have been wanting to pick them up. I don't know why I haven't until now, but they were $5 a piece, I think he said. So that was a pretty good deal. Grabbed them. <laughs> and 
And then I got one more thing. I didn't actually show these because I grabbed them off the table before I filmed, but I grabbed these to use as bookends. They're really pretty and I'm just gonna paint them, I think. I don't think I'm gonna leave them this color, but I thought they'd be very pretty on a shelf as, book, as bookends to hold up some books. I liked them. <laughs> And that's my whole haul. Thank you so much for coming with me. I had a really great time and I'm so happy that I have your company every time that I go. I can't wait to hear from you in the comments. I adore you all. And until next time, happy thrifting.